Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to uh, Bill McPhee's Recovery Blog. My name is Bill McPhee and I'm a mental health recovery expert. Um, I was basically hospitalized six different times, lived in three different group homes, and had a suicide attempt. I spent five years on the couch, uh, and today uh, I'm married, I have my own business, and I am uh, very uh, have uh, three children, and I'm a successful business person. Today we're going to talk about obsessive compulsive disorder, as so known as OCD. And basically OCD is an anxiety disorder. And basically anxiety, a definition of anxiety can be when you are uh, fearful of the present and actually worry about the future. You have that all the time. And with OCD, this uh, uh, heightens that, that effect. So OCD affects 1 to 2 percent of the population and is known as an anxiety disorder. The reason it's called obsessive compulsive disorder is because you have obsessions, constant things coming into your mind that you uh, do over and over again, whether they be images or thoughts of doing certain acts and different things like that. So there's an, obs uh, an obsession to it. As well, the compulsions disorder is basically in the sense of that you have to do something over and over again. And usually what it may be, it may be washing your hands all the time. You'll see people constantly in and out of the bathroom trying to wash their hands. Uh, they will, uh, in fact, I've seen pictures where people's hands are, are actually raw and scraped off from, from, from washing. As well, um, other things could be checking. Uh, checking is very common, uh, whether you're constantly checking to see if the stove is turned off. Uh, you know, you may think you have to lock the door 15 times. You have to check to make sure that you locked it. And you have to uh, say you're going outside your door. You'll go outside your home. You'll walk back in to make sure you turn the lights off or something like that. It's a compulsion. And if you want to kind of think of it, as a record player. Remember the old record players that had the old vinyl records and, and you'd put the needle on the record and it would spin and it would create the sound. Well, OCD is like that. It's like when the needle gets stuck in one spot and it repeats over and over and over again in one spot. That's where the compulsion is. That's, that's like it is. Now, one thing about obsessive compulsive disorder, which is different than, say, bipolar or schizophrenia, uh, uh, you know, in that sense, is that people recognize, people with OCD recognize they have a problem and recognize that they have OCD. For example, uh, many of you may know uh, Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel is uh, uh, a famous comedian who's done some uh, game shows and different things like that, hosting game shows. And he would always have to hop high five or nudge people with that elbow because he had he has OCD and he will not shake somebody's hand or touch their hand because he has that anxiety about phobias or about uh, the, 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 the whatever bacteria or germs or contamination when you shake somebody's hands. He recognizes that. He does the high fives, not the high fives, but he bumps fists and elbows and everything like that to make up for it. He's out of the closet, but a lot of people aren't. And this rage is OCD rage is havoc in people's lives and their marriages, and uh, because it is an obsessive compulsive disorder. So that's it for today. Uh, come back uh, next week, and we are going to talk about stress uh, next week. And uh, in the meantime, remember that my definition as a recovery expert, my definition of recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And remember, there is life after mental illness. And uh, if you want to sign up for some free newsletters, uh, feel free to go to my site, uh, billmcphee.ca or uh, mentalwellnesstoday.com and you can sign up there for uh, free newsletters that we sent out regarding mental health issues and mental wellness issues. So have a great day. And once again, remember, there is life after mental illness. Have a successful day. Bye-bye.